Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Return Williams to Glory series. Now, obviously in the last couple of races we haven't been doing too well. Now I'm hoping that with major upgrades, surely it can propel us forward. Because it's getting me on a joke now. Our chassis is still a disgrace, but we're working on it. Engine's not too bad. Aero's getting there as well. It really is getting there. It's looking alright now. We've got an aero event. Oh, we've got to support it, haven't we? A charity? I can't not go to that. I'd be disrespectful that bit if I didn't go to that. I'm going to have to accept it. Any minute now. That's all right, mate. I bet you won't get the arm for that. I'll start turning heads. But more resource points coming in, but straight on to the old chassis. Because that's, that's our weakness, I would say. Is it our weakness? Or is it aero? It's a bit of both. A bit of both. We've got a Canadian Grand Prix coming up. A thousand driver acclaim for darts into a make a wish. I'll do that. I'll do that every week. Failed. Right, so we've got some failed parts, which is not great, but they don't cost too much to fix, so we'll fix them. Got a decent chunk of resource. Well, I said I did have a decent chunk of resource point. Right, there's a lot of upgrades on the car here, so I'm hoping we should at least propel us forward. Like, I'm not saying getting out of Q1, but like not last would be nice. Because I think we've been last. I think the highest I've been is 19. And that is not great. But we are in the qualified, straight in the qualifying now. Don't bother with the practice sessions, do them off camera because they're boring. But yeah, the car felt. To be honest with you, the car felt better. But we're coming out of the, coming the final chicane now. Oh, wow, well, we've hit the wall. We've hit the wall. Oh, that's already flying lap as well. We're going to have to go back to the garage, get that all checked up and seen too. We're going to lose a bit of time. 30 seconds. Probably just no point telling us. Just changing the front wing, isn't it? But anyway, we go again. Currently last. I'm not sure. I think we went straight back out, so we're midway through Q1. I oh, would just finish the lap. I'm awful at this. We've gone P10. Oh, my. So I got really excited to knock something over. P10? I don't even remember going P10. We're back out. We've got one, one more flying lap. We're currently 11th. So technically, there's no technically, but we're currently through into Q2. But we've got Sergio ahead of us, holding us up. Didn't think I'd ever be saying that. But he's started to pull ahead a little bit, so I don't think he's holding us. Didn't get a dumb corner cut in there, so I don't want to hear none of this. All you scrubbed. No, no. But we are purple in the first sector. We're green in the second sector. We got about the final chicane. Need a good run. Can we get into Q1? Two, I should say. Did we? P9. I take that. I'm gas with that. I was hoping for like a little oh, 13 for saying. I am exquisitely. Does that mean we're getting a Q3? I don't think we're getting a Q3. That's a bit of an ask, isn't it? It's one step at a time. One step at a time. That's a good first quarter. It's a decent second quarter. You want to like. I probably should have held it out a bit wider there for a better run. But we're going to come across the line for our first lap in Q1, and we go second behind Lando Norris. Obviously, that's not very representative because not very many people have got. But we didn't get through to Q3, although P14, very happy with that. Second off Lando Norris's fastest time in Q2. I'll take that. That's progress. to the Canadian Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Lando Norris, and Russell. Fernando Alonso, Ricardo, Ocon, and Pierre Gasly. Mick Schumacher, Magnussen, Sergio Perez. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Ace, Sonoda, Joe, Sebastian Vettel, and Valtteri Bottas. Albon, 
and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. We're on the grid now, P14, Perez ahead of us who for some unknown reason is on the medium tyres in a fire plat race, but you do you boo. Need a good start. We're away, we're away better than we have been in previous Grand Prix. Got a decent run. Perez obviously slow off the line because they're medium tyres, but oh, Snowden coming in. What's he doing there? He's got, warning. Me? Did you not see him? I'm steaming up the inside. I'm not having that. I'll go, you see you after the race. But we're up the inside of the Hass of Mick Schumacher. Snowden still ahead of us with his bumper car antics into turn one. But we are currently P13. We are on the back of Sonoda in the Toro Rosso. It's not Toro Rosso, it's an Alfa Tari. And we've got Magnussen in the Haas. Oh, it's an excellent run. Use Magnussen's slipstream to gain the advantage on Sonoda. But we switched to a replay camera now because we're going all stylish for this. But yeah, we've got to run on uh, Magnussen now. And we can do him around the outside. We do get him around the outside. Unless us up into P11. Can we get Gasly? Three laps to get Gasly. Ocon on their medium tyres as well. We could be able to jump. Could we jump Ocon for P9? Well, let's get past Gasly first before we start booming ourselves up the field. That's a good run on Gasly. Are we going to be able to make it stick? Lap two of five. This will get us our first points position of the season. Are we going to do it? I do back out. That's a front wing loser that is. I'm going to... Oh, bro. Lost the back. Lost the back. We're going to lose time. Luckily, Kevin Magnussen is not behind us to capitalise on our disgraceful exit. But we've touched Gasly. Ooh, that would get you a, at least six months. But we're a bit further back this time round. I'm not that close. We've got the overtake on. We've got a DRS on this lap. We're going to get a run. I might be able to stick close and maybe thunder up the inside at the turn one. Need a good run off here because we've been slow out of here. We can lose the back again. And I don't think we're going to be close enough again for a run at turn one. But the following lap, we've got Gasly again. This time, I'll put all my eggs in the one basket. We're going to go up the inside at turn one. Did not lose the rear. We've got a great exit. We've got slipstream. We've got DRS. We've got the overtake. Break a little bit like up the inside. P10. P10, make it stick, make it stick. Keep it up. Yes, people. It's the final lap of the Grand Prix as well, so we got that done. We did not manage to catch Ocon, but I'm absolutely fine with that. Out of the final chicane, towards the line, to finish P10. Boom. We've come a long way. Like the song, we've come a long way. And we'll... I don't know the rest. But anyway, I'm gassed for that point. Driver of the day, of course. Kind of starts to win the race. Deary me. Come on, Science. There we go. Science wins from Hamilton, from Leclerc, from Verstappen, and Norris has had a great weekend. What's the standards look like? Leclerc leads by three points. Science is only 24 points back, considering I've been cussing him out all season. That's madness. Fair play to him. We've got a point now. Now, you see, we are only four points off Alpha, Ta Alpha Romeo in sixth place. Back at HQ now. If I sound croaky, it's because I've got a bit of a cold. I don't just sound like this. More upgrades. We need to be hot on these upgrades, especially with how much we've gained in the last couple of races. Mainly focusing on chassis and aero, but sometimes obviously you reach capacity. So I will go and do... Because we're decent on the engine front, I will do upgrades there. Because you could, we, I want to maintain that. Tire blankets and ERS cooling. We've got a marketing department event. I'll have to see what that's knocking out. Oh, they want to know what sort of, um, what sort of, uh, high wear, as in what people want to wear. Rain jacket, cost a, a hundred thousand, but that's not for one rain jacket, is it? That's got to be a collection of rain jackets. I think Williams carries enough now. We'll get a rain jacket. Silverstone, it's going to rain. It's a lovely idea. Not sure why you're coming to me for these, because I'm the driver, but Bobby's your uncle. Anyway, we're going to jump straight to it. We've got the British Grand Prix next. And it's our home Grand Prix, team's home Grand Prix. Let's go. We've come a long way, and we're sure to show where you do do do. Hey, do do do. That's better. Better. I think that was the words. Editing that out. Up in the car, it's wet, it's moist, it's slippery. Now, I haven't been too hot in the old wet this season. As you went back to Australia, I ploughed it into a concrete wall. So what I did is I filled it up, put more fuel in, and I'm just going to go around. This is our site in lap. This is our first lap of the session. First lap in the wet, with essentially all the upgrades on the car. So I'm hoping these upgrades would have at least given us a better balance in damp conditions. 
It felt not too bad, but we were fairly slow, so we did back off and obviously allow the traffic that was coming up behind us to go through. We did block Russell getting into the pits, so that's fine. Sonoda's past, Albans past. That did leave us with a fairly decent gap, so we dropped back a little bit more so we weren't getting in the turbulent air of Alban. And we went again. That was our bank. Let's see where the grip was. Now we can properly go for it, I think. Yeah. It's, it feels better in the wet already. Well, I don't know if Australia was just a little one-off where we just were struggling a little bit. But yeah, we're already, what, a nine-tenths up? Maybe probably a little bit too much curb, a little bit of grass there. Need a good exit, run it out. You need a good exit because the hangar straight, you're cool. You get caught out if you don't get a good exit out here. We've come across life for our first proper flying lap and we've gone P15. There's more pace in the car. I think we're just going to get quicker and quicker as the session goes on. But as we come to complete our second flying lap, we go 13th. So we're making gains. Small gains. Alba's a little bit quicker than us at the moment. But I think we'll wait till the end of the session and uh, yeah, we'll see if we get through. I'm not too fast if we get knocked out in Q1 here because I think dry pace is probably better. But not to worry. Albans through, we're both through. It's a Williams double in the Q2. Let's go, come on. Still wet, of course it is. But we've got a bit more confidence in the wet now. Towards the end of the session, now we haven't actually set a time because I wasn't going to do pound round and waste engine mileage so we're going to give it one flying lap at the end coming out of the last sequence of corners out of the final corner now where are we going to put ourselves p7 that was a good lap i was pleased with that lap i think i'm going to go again no just missing out on q3 by a few positions 13th we do out qualify album but 13th or 14th for the williams team i am pleased with that that gives us a chance for maybe back to back points We're we'll relying on us and press. Yeah, boy, you got to put that sort of pressure on me, Mark. Just about to start the Grand Prix. Five lights, go. Now, the starts have been a difficult one for us this season, but Alba's made a better one than us. He's quicker off the line. The Haas, who's that? Because Magnussen's way quicker than us off the line. We got, we got Stroll to the left. Joker's to the right. That's Gasly out of race. Is that Gasly out of race there? That was going to nut the Gasly is out of race. Let's have a little look. We're on board now. He's got the Alpine of, I don't know, in front. That's just an awful crash. To be fair, give Gasly his due. I do think the Alpine just breaks suddenly. But we're straight back into the action. We've got Alvin there. On the left now, we've got Oak on his. That must have been Alonso he ploughed in the back of. Ooh, do I care? Not in the slightest. But we're back past Alvin. He was a bit slow, I won't lie. Might have a couple of words with him, but he's now on the right. We've got to break a little bit later, though. We need to keep these positions... Obviously, I want Albon to do well, but I do want to finish ahead of him. That's my goal for the season, to just make sure we finish ahead of him in the championship. Definitely possible. I think we've been the better Williams driver, at least in the race, maybe not in qualifying. Yeah, Albon, because he got great, but I got poor run out of the final corner, but that's allowed Albon to sneak up the inside of turn one, but that's allowed Guan Yu Zhou, is it? No, Magnussen. Who's that? Is this one not a commentator? But I, I don't even know who's coming up the inside. But we've stayed ahead of him. It's Guan Yu Zhou and Magnussen. They're both on the ball. We've got Albon just ahead now. We do need a better run off here. We're not going to get it there though. Following that though, lap three. Albon's ahead. We've got the DRS. We've got the overtake. We've got the slipstream. Are we even close enough to lunge? Because I will. I've said to him, I will lunge on your ass. He weren't pleased. He didn't really understand what I was on about, but that's fine. We've gone off on the right tangent here. But it's an excellent run onto the hangar strip. We've got a DRS. We've got the overtake. We've got a slipstream. We're, gonna, we're not going to fake dummy him like Mansell did. We're just going to cruise past him, up the inside, into P12. Disrespect him. Out 
outrageous behaviour, but he's come back on us. He didn't like one word of what I've been saying. It's like cut the promo. I say, I'm saying, I'm not like I'm WWE. But he ain't coming past. I said to him, he's not coming, but I've run wide over a little grass patch. But this, all this battle is allowing Magnuson to get right up our chaff. Look at that, holding him off. Holding him off beautifully. Beautifully. What's that on the Williams radio? Nothing, because I ain't hearing them. They're sending us on the battle. Final lap though, I'm hoping Magnuson will slow Alvin down so we can finish 12. L Lando Norris wins the British Grand Prix. Do you fair play to him? Fair play to him. We don't get overtaken, we do come across a cut. My days is worded. We come across the line in P12. You don't ever sound too gas for me, Mark. You never ask how I'm feeling. But yeah, Lando Norris wins the Grand Prix, do not know how. Because he was actually quick all weekend, I think. I think he was fastest in Q2. So, McLaren are coming. Norris wins from Russell. It's a British 1-2. Of course it is. Leclerc, Science, Verstappen. Leclerc extending then, I'm guessing. Of course he is. He finished ahead. Seven points. Science has dropped back a couple points. I think it's between the top two there. Finished 12th. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. But honestly, it's been a great episode of it. Thank you for watching. Come again next time. I'll chat less, possibly. Maybe not. But subscribe if you're new. Like the video. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Why don't you leave a comment? Thank you. And bye-bye.